This is Shinus terebinthifolius, Brazilian pepper tree. Uh, you can see it growing back there. Usually does grow as a multi-trunk tree, which this one uh, is doing. Uh, this one is closely related to the California pepper, uh, even though it's named California pepper, not a native tree. California pepper is native to uh, mostly northern Mexico, but uh, this particular tree uh, is uh, related to that tree. You usually see that tree more than this, the Brazilian pepper. Uh, both the pepper trees are called pepper trees because this is where the red peppercorn in your uh, uh, nice pepper uh, mix is comes from or is harvested from. Uh, the tree is very drought tolerant and extremely tough. Uh, does very well in urban settings. Um, we'll let the motorcycle pass. Uh, but is very invasive. Uh, areas of uh, natural space uh, where the Brazilian pepper is growing next to the Brazilian pepper will free seed itself uh, has caused a, uh, a lot of damage to the Florida Everglades. Uh, so uh, if you're considering uh, planting the Brazilian pepper, I would not plant it a next to a native area. Uh, but it is great for close up to a patio is evergreen does make a very dense shade canopy. Uh, so sitting underneath it in the summertime is very enjoyable, uh, but is very difficult to grow other plants underneath it. Uh, this is Shinus terebinthifolia, Brazilian pepper.